Hello everyone, I'm Zhenya. I'm also known as the Lady Moth and in this video I will show you how to create a little hat for your Niederfeld penguin. A while ago I've created um, instructions for the penguin. They are available as a PDF and there are also some kits available which include uh, materials and tools used for the project. I will include links in the description of this post. So for the hat, I'm using carded corridale wool. Um, I will be working on a 100% wool mat. I will be using 38 gauge star needles. I have a single needle and a double needle here. And a multi-tool may also be useful. It contains several fine needles. I will also use some Angelina fiber uh, for a little sparkle on the hat. Um, I will use a sewing needle with a thread, which will be useful, and a ruler. So the first step of making a hat is creating a disc um, is like a felt fabric so I'll show you how to start to create that we will need our carded wool and we are aiming for roughly three inch disc and it doesn't have to be perfect but it's good to keep to the proportions. So I've got a little bit of wool. I'm going to select a piece which hopefully this one is around four inches so it will be fine because the way I work I'm going to place it on the pad and add a little bit more in the middle just to make it stronger a little bit thicker and then I'm going to work with my single needle and start stabbing creating a circle so I want my circle to be roughly three inches Right, so I'm going to do a few more pokes here and then I'm going to push all the excess fiber towards the middle and secure. working on a gray pad today so you can see what's happening but usually when I work with white fiber I would work on my white pad just to keep it clean okay so that's a circle which is roughly three inches and this is attached slightly to the pad so I'm going to gently lift it up and turn it over. And now I will use the double needle just to speed it up and again stab. And we will need to keep repeating this process, stabbing and then lifting it up, turning over quite a few times until you get quite nice and firm piece of felt. And sometimes when you lift it up, it stretches a bit. So you might want to work 
on the edges towards the middle to shrink it a bit doesn't always happen but it may so that's the way to work slightly towards the middle and it should shrink I'm going to lift it up once more and now check the size so this is just a little bit more than three inches that's fine I can shrink it a little bit later I'm going to take some of my white wool just a little bit and a bit of Angelina fiber And I'm going to blend them together so pull and put together again and pull and repeat this process until you get a nice blend of wool and Angelina going to spread it a bit to fit the circle and I'm going to attach it to the surface the multi-tool that will make it much quicker so keep working from each side So that needs more work, you can see it's still quite fuzzy and it's quite soft. That's the finished one, it's much thinner, firmer, it's more like a fabric this one. So just keep working until you have a nice piece of felt with sparkly fibers and if you think your piece is too large work on the edges towards the middle like so and that will shrink it so once you have your piece nice and firm you need to um, attach it to the penguin's head and to make it easier I usually take a piece of thread and I would thread it on the edge roughly quarter an inch from the edge and I'm using red thread so you can see exactly what I'm doing And once it's finished all around, I'm going to just tighten it a bit. And 
and I will tighten it so it fits the size of the penguin's head. Okay, and now I'm going to make a knot so it keeps the shape. And this way you can also decide how you want to place the hat on the penguin's head. I'm going to do it this way. So once you're happy with the position, start working on the edge below the thread and you will work all the way around At this stage it is attached, it doesn't move and I'm going to just snap the thread And I want to remove it. And now you can shape the hat also. Do it gently because I haven't really attached it that well yet. I will work on those edges right here a bit more. to make sure it's secure now we need a little pom-pom so let's take some more of the white wool we don't need very much create a loose shape like so 
and just push the fibers, try to make it rounder. And I'm usually quite them, keep them quite loose. So just keep turning the piece and stab from each side just to give it more strength but we don't need it really solid I like it quite fluffy could make it smaller or bigger It is very fluffy. It is there is lots of fur inside there, and that's fine. You can then choose where you want to place it. So I will hold it. You can possibly use the needle to hold it in place, but you would have to be very careful not to hit on it so i usually hold it with my finger and just work around just under the pom-pom and try to attach it from each side Finish it a bit. So now it's secure. If there are any loose fibers of Angelina, you can just pull them off. Sometimes not all of them would stick. This way you create this lovely shiny berry for your penguin. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thank you for watching and enjoy your felting. Bye bye.